hitting the road, South Florida school bus drivers getting ready for the start of the new school year. And those drivers were out practicing their routes today. Broward students head back to class Tuesday. Date students Wednesday. Local 10's Hatsavella live in Fort Lauderdale with more on the back to school. Rush. So, Louis, this is just one of several locations here in Broward County where school bus drivers have been doing what they call a dry run, right? Not just today, but for the next couple of days until they feel like they're ready. 4088, I have Parkway Dillard. A new school year, a new route. Kaya Giles, the self-described rookie school bus driver, shows us how she and other drivers get ready. Okay, so we have to check to make sure these are working, your amber lights working. A checklist of sorts combined with a dry run where today close to 800 bus drivers practice their actual route to get a sense of what it's going to be like on day one. Exciting and it's hectic as well. You got to make sure you have the right children at the right buses and make sure they're going to the right school. This is a massive operation. Hundreds of routes and buses ready to pick up close to 6,000 kids. This year we are starting with qualified candidates and we are 100% satisfied that all of our routes are covered. The door is closed properly. With days to go, they are ready. Everything is good. Earlier today. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Inside Deerfield Beach High School. An active shooter trip. The active killer was neutralized by one of the teams. A simulation to keep law enforcement trained. We train so that we don't get it wrong. Both the sheriff and superintendent on hand to talk about the importance of being ready. You want to know that the right hand and the left hand are talking to one another. In grades 6 through 12, now they'll be using handheld metal detectors for random screenings and no more emergency color-coded systems. Instead, they're using a plain language approach so it's easier to understand. There's also cameras in sync with BSO. And we are currently monitoring and tracking over 18,000 cameras across the school systems, which gives us ability to have live feed if any form of threat take place. So the sheriff, as well as the superintendent, urging parents to make sure that you know what your kids are taking to school in their backpacks, as well as monitoring what they're posting on social media, because they say any threats will be taken seriously. As for the school buses, well, any information you may want about the routes and what happens on the first day of school, all that you can find on local10.com. For now, reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News. I saw the drivers out in my neighborhood uh, just today. Thanks, Hatsal.